You can sail. So what's the story like? Did that scum bucket give you a hard time out there? No, no, he didn't. You've been on the radio all night. Turn down the bleeding radio. <laughs> it's not the fucking radio, Paddy. It's Dr. David can sail in the flesh. Your man on the radio? You got it in one there, Kippo, the very man himself, huh? Dr. David Kinsale, and you have to run him into our cell. You should be honoured, you know. A doctor, no less. Must be much of a bleeding doctor if you're in here. And you're not much of a bleeding crook either. You've been in here fucking three times in the last two years. Well, did you do it? Jesus, Kipper. How many fucking times do I have to tell you? Never ask a man, has he done it? Ask him, was he convicted? Was he caught? Did he take a bell? But never, and I mean never, ask him, has he done it? Did you do it? Jesus, Kipper. No, I didn't do it. Jesus. The whole fucking prison is innocent. I'm the only guilty one in here. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you hungry, kiddo? I'm famished. He's what? Famished. Bleeding, starving. Are you Irish? Yes. Then why do you talk funny like that? Because he's bleeding edumacated, you muppet. Now get him something to eat. What do you want? What have you got? Show him what you have there, Kipper, will you? What Jesus say? sake. Sorry, what's your name again? Kipper. Killer? No, Kipper. Like fish. Right, I have eggs. Hard boiled. I've chicken. Two breasts. I've got tomatoes, corned beef, salami, cheese, red cheddar. Uh, and I've got bananas. I've got onions, apples, oranges, crips, chocolate, bread, brown and white. And I've got sliced ham. Have you really got all that food in your locker? Oh, she's got the whole of fucking Moor Street in there. I mean, he's robbed tins of sardines, tuna, peas, jars of beetroot, mayonnaise, ketchup. Where'd he get them from? From the kitchen. He's a trustee. He can go where he wants to in this hole, you know. What are you going to do with all that food? Oh, God only knows. He's enough there to outlast a nuclear war and still have enough to open a spare supermarket in the temple fucking bar. <laughs> I made you a chicken, tomato and lettuce sandwich. There you go, mate. Enjoy. Thanks. Why do they call you Kipper? Because he's two-faced and he's got no backbone. <laughs> <laughs> You're from Clown Ski, ain't you? Oh, I used to. Whereabouts? Ard Lee. I know well, man. Do you? Who do you know there? I don't fucking know anybody there, man. I just know all the houses. <laughs> We've done every house in that street, man. <laughs> Get out of that garden. Get up the yard. Where's your mattress? They didn't give me one. They said I'd get one tomorrow from the welfare. The welfare? Oh, I'm sorry about that, kiddo. That's a, a, a euphemism for go fuck yourself. <laughs> Come here. See that sign there? Have a read and see what it says. What's it mean? Well, it means exactly what it says on the label. If you're thin and horny, just ring this bell and a cunt will appear in less than a minute. <laughs> Seven, six, six, five, four, three, two, one. What do you want? Get this man a fucking mattress quick, you fucking swine, or we'll torch this fucking kip now. And that's another day up the judge's arse. <laughs> Oh, come on, kiddo. Eat your sandwich. You gotta look after yourself having here. I mean, don't let the bastards get you down. And for fuck's sake, don't let them break your spirit, whatever you do. I mean, look at me. 
Right? This here is a hull. Once you're sent in here, nobody cares. Society? <laughs> they don't give a shit about what was he in here. The only thing they care about is that that big door out there is kept fucking closed. And we're kept in here behind it. But we, us, we gotta look out for ourselves. Believe you me, no matter how terrible you think this fucking place is, and you're talking to one who knows, this is worse than any Edgar Allan fucking Poe. But you get used to it. You have to. You gotta adapt, you see, to survive. And you will. But there are those that don't, because they're not strong enough. So you see, they do the old swing job. But if you got the smarts, and you got a good sense of humor, and you're strong, you'll be okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Luckily for the doctor, Kirsten Blake was more than just a good lay. Look, sorry, sorry I'm late. So just tell me what happened. The judge fixed bail at 50,000. 50,000? Where the hell is he gonna get that? Well, I managed to talk a friend into coming up with the money. Well, how did you do that? Well, he took some persuading, but he succumbed in the end. Yeah, but Jesus, 50,000 pounds in cash. What? Don't you think I'm worth it? Well, I think you're bloody fantastic. So, uh, when will he be out? I'll make the application tomorrow. Is the food good here? Good. Oh, well, I'll tell you, that's one thing about the joy. They have the best of grub. Boy, in the best of grub, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, there's no doubt about it. They really get the best of grub here, don't they? Mind you, whatever the fuck they do in that kitchen, <laughs> by the time it reaches us, it's muck, pure muck. Like they boil everything, everything. Eggs, chicken, ham, beef, pork, sausages. They boil the shit out of it. I swear, they must fucking in with the laundry. I'll tell you this, the real criminals in this kip are the fucking chefs. Rest, will you? And lots of chips, lots of chips. Lovely, more, a bit more, a bit more, 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 more. Nice one. Uh, have you any chicken breasts? All the breasts are gone, Paddy. How come every week all the chicken breasts are gone by the time I get to you? Get here earlier? I couldn't get here any earlier if I arrived in a fucking taxi. I mean, for fuck's sake, there's only three guys in front of me, and yet there's about 36 fucking chicken legs there. And there's no breasts. We only cook them, Paddy. We don't fucking breed them here. That's the way the chickens come in. No, that's the way the chickens fucking come in. I mean, I've never seen a chicken with two breasts and 36 fucking legs till I come into this kip. I mean, where are you getting them from? Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> 